up where the planets do the hula. Spin and shout till you find yourself on Zula. Let's take off, we're all ready to roll. It's fun to learn with the Zula Patrol. Wake up, Gorga, it's time to play. Come on, Captain Bula, let's welcome the day. Where's that cedar? Ready to go. Wizzy and Wig are good to glow. Speakers bubbling, turning blue. Mortals making something new. Way, way out where the planets do the hula. Spin and shout till you find yourself on Zula. See your round balls and mission control. It's fun to learn with the Zula Patrol. Way, way out where the planets do the hula. Spin and shout till you find yourself on Zula. See your round balls and mission control. It's fun to learn with the Zula Patrol. Space and time, two signposts on the road to the infinite. But be careful, or you'll miss the turnoff and end up in a lonely old shack with a grinning caretaker wearing a rooster for a hat. But enough about my vacation, here's our story. Morning, Cedar. Good news. Well, I've completed our new work schedule. Oh, joy. Yes, sir. From now on, everything around Zula Patrol will run smoothly, just like clockwork. <laughs> right again, Gorga. Bula, that giant swarm of asteroids is heading right for Zula. Two million miles and closing. Not a problem. I've already calculated the perfect time for us to fly up and deflect them away from Zula, which is exactly at noon. Now, here's the schedule. After breakfast, install backup battery on spaceship. Yeah! Noon, save all life on Zula. Afternoon, shampoo rubber ducky. What? Lasagna should be ready just in time for lunch. Now, how are you doing with my fudge recipe? Did you put in the sugar, the chocolate, and the octopus? Uh, uh, we thought we'd try it without octopus. Well, okay, but it won't taste like mine. <laughs> now, just put it in the refrigerator and let it chill till after lunch. Let's see, the time right now is... That's strange, the clock stopped. Must be a power outage. Hmm. Most irregular. My watches have stopped too. <sighs> Bula, all our clocks have stopped. How are we going to deflect those asteroids away from Zula if we don't know what time it is? Zeter, be patient. The clocks will come back on. Uh, I don't know. Uh -huh. My new Truder clock stopper is causing a big timeout for the Zula Patrol, Draxy. <laughs> It gets inside the inner parts of all timepieces and makes them stop working. <laughs> timepieces? It's not great for hair pieces either. It messed up the clock on this dryer, too. How long have I been under this thing? When the Zula patrollers can't stop those asteroids in time, their precious headquarters will be hit. Well, I tell you, an asteroid couldn't dent this do. Look at these reports. Every clock on Zula has stopped Whoa. working. Zulaeans are missing work, they're late for school, they're early for the dentist. <sighs> it's a nightmare. Mm -hmm. This whole thing smells like the work of Dark Truder. Maybe that's just a lasagna. This is a job for the Zula Patrol. All right, let's take off now and head off those asteroids. Come on. 
on. Not yet, Zeter. First, we need to know the time so we can head them off at the exact right moment. But how can we do that without a clock? Well, there is a way to tell time without clocks, and that's by using the sun. Follow me! <laughs> if you stand outside with the sun shining on you, your body makes a shadow on the ground, like Zeta's shadow there. And if you were to stand in one place all day and not move, you'd see that your shadow does move. It does? Absolutely. Let's look at the Multopedia. <laughs> in the morning around breakfast time, your shadow is long and is on one side of you. In the middle of the day around lunchtime, or what we call noon, your shadow is short and it's almost right below you. Then, later in the day, as it gets closer to dinner time, your shadow starts getting long again and goes to the other side of you. So by looking at your shadow, you can get a general idea of what time it is. But why does your shadow move? Let me explain. Your shadow is made by the sun. And as the sun seems to move across the sky all day, your shadow moves along with it. It does? <laughs> yes. But actually, it isn't the sun that's moving, it's the Earth that's spinning! So anything that casts a shadow can help tell time! Right! You, me, Bula, even Gorga! So what time is it? We have to know because we've got to deflect those asteroids by noon! Well, since Gorga's shadow is short and shadows are shortest at noon, it must be getting close to noon now! <gasps> It's Truder, with a cloud of... sunblock? I knew they might use that old sun as a clock trick, so I've used just enough sunblock that the sun can't cast shadows, and the Zulu Patrol can't tell time! You know, this is a great hairdo for keeping stuff in. You want a ham sandwich? No. Oh. Oh, that's it! It's time to deal with Truder! Huh? Hey, wait! Don't go yet! Cedar! Cedar, come back! <laughs> Cedar! We've got to let her know! All right, now to find Truder! Cedar, come back! You don't have a backup battery! You left before Gorga could install it! Uh oh! No backup? That could be a problem! Oh, definite problem! <laughs> Battery not installed. <laughs> well done, Purple Lassie. Perhaps you should have waited. Hmm. Oh, guess I shouldn't have left so quickly. Uh, yeah. If only we could see our shadows to tell the time. Then we could radio Zeta, and she might still be able to stop those asteroids. <laughs> What's happening? I can't see a thing! Oh! Hmm. <coughs> Gorga, this is no time to get patriotic. We have a problem to solve. <coughs> hmm. Hmm. Oh, the sun is shining again. Malto, I don't know how, but you did it. I did? <laughs> Maybe it was mind over matter. Look! A very short shadow right underneath the pole. I'd say, oh my word, it's nearly noon. <laughs> then we're almost out of time. I'll radio Zeter. <laughs> Thanks, chicken guy! <laughs> Purple lassie. Hmm? You know, washing our windows wouldn't hurt. Hmm? Cedar, huh? our sun clock says it's almost noon. Huh? We need to head off the asteroids now. Ah! Roger that. Activating deflector. Ah, uh, lose that dryer. 
and you can start looking for another talking to Kay. Finally! I can see! <laughs> No need for them now. My shadow clock, not to mention my stomach clock, says it's lunchtime. Time to take my lasagna out of the oven. And our fudge from the fridge. <gasps> not yet, Wig. It needs more time to harden. Have a little patience, Wig. Just one little bite. But the fudge will still be... <laughs> Oops. Runny. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Molto. Looks like your lunar lasagna got ruined. <laughs> what do you mean, ruined? I timed it by the sun, and it came out perfectly. Moist and moving. Just the way I like it. Ah! No? <laughs> am, I, am I on? Does anyone have the correct time? Ah, oh, that lunar lasagna was delish! All right, everyone. It's time for our Molto moment. Let's talk time. If you stand outside with the sun shining on you, your body makes a shadow on the ground, like Zeta's shadow there. And if you were to stand in one place all day and not move, you'd see that your shadow does move. In the morning, around breakfast time, your shadow is long and is on one side of you. In the middle of the day, around lunchtime, or what we call noon, your shadow is short and it's almost right below you. Then, later in the day, as it gets closer to dinner time, your shadow starts getting long again and goes to the other side of you. So by looking at your shadow, you can get a general idea of what time it is. I get it! So anything that casts a shadow can help tell time. Right. And now I think it's about time for a second helping of that lasagna. 